care where it is and why they're doing it. Unfortunately, the rate of suicide is um, now the second leading cause of death for young people. So we know that we need to provide um, the help that people need when they need it. We'll take you to a local ER of sorts designed specifically for young people to treat their mental health. And how you could get paid just to watch scary movies. The news starts now. Breaking news alerts and weather before the first commercial. This is Local 12 News on Star 64. Good evening. Thanks for joining us here at 10 o'clock. We could be in for some stormy yeah. weather on a couple of different occasions over the next 24 hours. All right, so let's go straight <laughs> to Chief Meteorologist John Gum with the first forecast. John. And we're watching a line of storms back to the west of us now. These are moving through central Indiana along a cold front, which represents the leading edge of cooler air. Up in northern Ohio, they have severe thunderstorm warnings now from Toledo over to Sandusky. About 221,000 people under a severe thunderstorm warning morning for winds to 60 miles per hour and some small hail there along the Lake Erie shores and more storms coming down into the Indianapolis area right now. These are the ones we're going to watch moving our way overnight. You can see on Futurecast here as we go beyond the midnight hour, that's when we begin to see some of those storms entering the tri-state and they could produce some heavy rain. A storm or two certainly could be on the strong side, but that is not the only storm system that we're going to be watching here over the next 12 hours we will fall through the 70s into the low 70s overnight. Your best chance of rain and storms after midnight and we see the chance tomorrow morning. Some of us see another chance late day tomorrow and I'm going to talk a lot more about that coming up. But first I want to talk about tropical depression. Nicholas it made landfall as a hurricane this morning still bringing torrential rain to parts of Louisiana and that's the big problem now as this thing stalls out. It could be producing some rainfall, perhaps in excess of eight, nine, ten inches in some locations here through Louisiana and Mississippi. This storm pummeled parts of the Gulf Coast, and a lot of these folks are still trying to recover from Hurricane Ida just two weeks ago. Janet Shamilan is in Beaumont, Texas tonight. Nicholas roared ashore along the wants to pay someone 1300 bucks to watch 13 different horror movies. That mm. person will wear a heart monitor. Uh, they're trying to figure out whether big budget horror movies are scarier than the low budget flicks. What do you think? Would you try it? Yeah. 1300 bucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is music to every UC fan's ears. Why Luke Fickle says the rumors of USC calling are actually the greatest thing that can happen to UC. Breaking news alerts and the weather authority forecast. This is local 12 news. Good evening, everyone. It could be a bumpy ride for some of you tonight. Yeah, some strong storms are moving in, which could bring a lot of rain. That's why we are starting with a cheap tonight. Yeah. Meteorologist John Gum is in the weather center with what we can expect. John. Been watching these storms over the past few hours, guys, moving across central Indiana and northern Ohio now. If there's any good news here, it's the fact that these are going to weaken as they approach the greater Cincinnati area overnight. But I want to come in a little closer, show you what's been happening. They have seen tremendous amounts of rain up here around Toledo tonight where they have flash flood warnings in effect. They've seen severe storms too. Coming down the line though, a little closer to home near Newcastle, Indiana, a severe thunderstorm warning that goes here uh, until 1115. 60 mile an hour winds, one inch hail with these storms that are south of Muncie heading toward Newcastle, Indiana, kind of riding I-70 here over toward Richmond as well. And then as we take you down the line, you can see things are a little weaker as you get back toward Franklin, Bloomington, Indiana. This is the part of the line that's going to come into the Cincinnati area overnight. So as we watch Watch those storms arriving and it's going to be well after midnight with some scattered storms moving into the area. You'll notice on this model they lose a lot of their punch. So that is certainly some good news. But even into the morning here, some scattered downpours certainly will be a possibility for that morning drive as those storm chances increase. So here's how we see it overnight. Rain and storm chances going up after midnight and even into the morning, some scattered showers and storms will be around the area. And this isn't the only round of rain and storms we're looking at. We're looking at a round overnight. Another round on the way for some of us tomorrow. Coming up, we'll show you a timeline. Who has the best chance tonight? of May seeing a strong storm and who will have the better chances tomorrow. That's in my weather authority forecast in minutes. 
the west side is back. That exuberance there from Cincinnati Mayor John Cranley is because the city really is getting a new Western Hills Viaduct. The city and county today announcing they've secured the funds to replace the crumbling 90-year-old double-decker bridge. The $335 million project will be paid for by the additional 0.8% sales tax voters passed back in May, along with money from the gas tax and license plate fees. You've got the city. And the local business leaders judged four teams of high schoolers in the inaugural Young Entrepreneurs of Color Pitch Competition. The winning team, Urban Green, proposing a variety of food security solutions. Each person on that team walked away with a thousand hmm. bucks. Congrats to them. Yeah. Future is bright. Yes, indeed it is. We'll see you tomorrow. Sleep well.